I'm here to talk about grouping worksheets. I have a five page workbook here and I'm going to go to print preview. I'm saying entire workbook here and if I go and scroll through this none of them have a footer and many things are terrific with the grouping and some things not so terrific. So to group the sheets I'm on the summary page here. I hold down the control key click on each page and let's say I want to print this out and rather than formatting or going to page setup for five sheets or even more they're grouped so I go into the page layout tab here I'm going to click inside here the page setup and I'm going to go to header footer custom footer and I could just say XYZ company in the center section I could put the page number I like to type the word page before that and I'm going to go into the right section I want the sheet name and let's say I want to put grids on the sheet I'll just say grid lines here I'm going to click on print preview it's showing the footer down here with the page number here I scroll everything has been done pretty cool However, if I want something just to appear on the first page, such as for auditor only, this is going to appear on every page. I'm going to click inside this one here. It's showing there, showing there, showing there. Not good. And by clicking on one sheet, I accidentally, what's the word, unintentionally ungrouped them. I'm going to click inside here hit the delete key I only want to say for auditor only uh, you can click outside here sometimes that works I clicked on that there but what I do is I just go back into here and I just say for auditor only print preview it's saying for auditor only it's not showing on the other pages when you're grouping, please be careful. If you're doing formulas, you change a formula on one page, it will change it on everything. And you can just group this page, this page. So any changes that would go on the summary page will show on the third and the fourth quarter. I could just right click and say on group sheets, everything is fine. 